In part one, we discovered that functions of graphs can be shifted and reflected. We looked at the translations in more detail, so in this part, we're going to look at the reflections. Before we start, remember that for vertical transformations, we apply the transformation to the whole function, so the outside. Whereas for horizontal transformations, we apply the transformation just to the x's. So let's have a look at reflections. If we have a function with this equation, to reflect it vertically, so in the x-axis, we apply a negative to the whole equation, so outside the brackets. Whereas for a horizontal reflection, so a reflection in the y-axis, we need to apply the negative only to the x's in the equation. Here are a couple of questions for you to give a go. Pause the video, work out the answers, and click play when you're ready. How did you get on? So there we have vertical and horizontal translations and reflections. For vertical transformations, we apply the transformation to the whole function, so outside the brackets. Whereas, for the horizontal transformations, we apply the transformation just to the x's, so inside the brackets. We will look at stretching and shrinking graphs in another video.